The Hittrick Academy is dedicated in loving memory of Rabbi Tzvi Hirsch Hittrick. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn Mishnah Dalit. Our Mishnah begins with a case, which we will learn if it's kosher apostle to be used for schach. And the second part of our Mishnah discusses what are the rules for something to be kosher schach. Let us begin. If someone put either of these materials on his sukkah, either as a geffen, a vine, as a glass, or the leaves of a gourd, as a kisem, or the branches of ivy, which are long, the sichach agaba, he put them on a, either one of these on his sukkah, and then he puts schach on top of it, psula, it will not be kosher, schach. For example, if someone had these, either the vine, and he put it, it was still attached to the ground, and he put it on his sukkah, and then he put some schach on top of that, so the Mishnah says, this will be possible. Now the Mishnah is going to tell us a few ways how to make this kosher. Let us continue. V'im haya harbe mehen If the schach, the kosher schach, was a lot more than these materials, or he cut these materials, he detached it from the ground, then kshedra will be kosher. So these are two ways. Number one, if it was a lot more, or if he cut it, then it will be kosher schach. Let us see this. Either, what, it, what, it, what the person could do, is either, number one, add a lot of schach, so much schach that it's not noticeable, you can't see the these the vine or the other materials underneath that's option number one option number two in order to make a kosher schach is to just cut off cut off the vine from the ground so once it's not attached to the ground anymore you see it's not attached so if it's not attached anymore then it will be a kosher schach it will be a kosher sukkah so any of these two options will make it make the sukkah kosher. Let us continue. The second part of the Mishnah is now going to tell us what materials are kosher may be used for schach. Zehaklal, this is the rule. Kalshuma kabel tumah, any material which can be, become impure, or ve'en gedue mina aretz, or and does not grow from the ground, then it cannot be used as tzach. What can be used? Something which cannot become impure, and grows from the ground, these things may be used as tzach. This is the end of this lesson.